Legend of Total War here with part 19 of my Mount and Blade Warband uh, Anno Domine uh, 1257 Let's Play campaign as Legend of the Conqueror. Alright, so it's been about, I don't know, a week in game time, maybe maybe longer since the previous episode where we took Basil. Basically, I've just been hunting down odds and end Holy Roman Empire armies and trying to basically capture them. And uh, just ransoming off... Um, armies. Now the Teutonic Order has showed up but they're just sort of dicking around. You can see that most of my lands have been raided but none of the uh, settlements are being taken which that's kind of okay with me. Like these settlements up when we go to peacetime it'll... Oh, okay it's being raided right now. I'll come over this way. Uh, during peacetime they'll be fixed up. It happens to be that these, these wars have actually been very profitable. Because I haven't had to rely on any well, I've I've hired a few mercenaries, but I haven't had to rely on them because of all the lance forces. It's because I had so many holdings this time. I was just being able to go from city to city, just picking up lance forces. Even though, of course, it does reduce tax inefficiency or increase tax inefficiency. All right, this guy's some sort of fucking bishop. Now, because the odds are way in our favour, I think we should just order the troops to attack without me. You can see the the, uh, the enemy on most times actually gets the worst of it. It just saves us a lot of time. I've always got so many more soldiers that I can go and get. So I lost a handful. I mean, captured him. Holy fuck! And then we just end up getting more soldiers right back. Not quite full strength, but basically we only lost eight men. Well, I think it was nine, actually. Now, the thing is, because we, um, we order resolved, look how many men were actually captured. I'll be able to sell this for a lot of money, because every time I go into it, I end up killing all the whole army, not actually capturing them. We only have to fight the battles where the odds are even, or... Oh, I gotta worry about that. The dog's been barking all day long about... I have no idea. No idea, so... This could be a particularly dog barking. Okay, that's them. What am I doing here? So, yeah, so there's an odd holy, uh, what's it called, Teutonic Order army, but they're no really, they're not a really big deal. I think I've already captured. I think that's the seventh Holy Roman Empire general we've captured. So these are all Holy Roman Empire guys, that's seven, yeah. But what that does is it weakens them, that's, that's less armies that they can field at a time, and they won't use, they'll, they'll maybe once every couple of weeks ask for a ransom, so they end up getting a bit of cash. And then how much money do we make from selling off these guys? It's not going to be heaps, but... Five grand, that's, you know, that's a group of mercenaries. And a half. If I need them. Also probably pays for my army for the entire, entire week. There we go, look. 10,000. I think that was the guy I just captured. Although I can't remember their fucking names. Whatever. So off he goes. But anyway, we're not going to win the war just by capturing lots of Holy Roman Empire armies. How much money do I have? Holy crap, and I deposited a lot of money into the treasury as well. Alright, what I might do is go to Milan, pick up some uh, some food. I could probably do that at Basel, actually. And we'll move on to another settlement to go and capture. Now, have we got a campaign currently running? Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure some of my generals have actually been captured. Now, I'm not going to actually ask for a ransom to get them back, I'll instead try and find where they are and actually go and save them. The Holy Roman Empire at this stage I think is quite exhausted fighting me, because they've already asked for peace once, but that was before we took Basel, and I think we can keep pursuing them. Now I haven't given this to myself yet because, well, basically I'm still waiting for new generals to show up.
Which means that this settlement is actually under a bit of risk. It's in danger of being captured, because the garrison won't go up any higher than 88. So we could go to Sponheim. I don't remember it being particularly easy or difficult. I don't, just don't remember. But what we want to do, I think, is come after like the proper cities like Frankfurt, Köln, uh, Magdeburg, Nuremberg, something like that. Now, I'm going to go for Frankfurt. Go straight for what I think will be their capital. Ah, oh, crap. Sancti- what? We're at war with the bloody Pope. Okay, fuck the Holy Roman Empire, we're going for Rome. When did that happen? The thing is, you get so many messages and sometimes I just don't want to even look in. And he's like, everyone that calls himself holy wants to get rid of me. Well, fuck them. Okay, we've got two generals. If he's been captured, there's only one place where he could possibly be being held, and that's in Rome itself. And I've been meaning to go and get Rome anyway. Now, I just hope that we don't have to build a siege tower. Whoa, whoa what's going on here? Oh, there's another general. Ah, oh, he's weak. I don't see any reason to have to dirty myself doing this. I've lost two men doing it. And he got away. So we're actually stronger now than when we left off with that. And we get to capture all these guys. That'd be worth a bit of cash. When the hell did the Pope declare war? I don't remember getting that message. Manners under attack. Might be a good idea if I just don't know, get a bit of experience. This isn't going to be hard. I like fast forces. This feels so much better to just glide through the ground. Oh, whatever. Slaughtering these guys. than fighting proper armies. It wasn't essential that I did that, but whatever. Oops. It'd be good to get rid of the Pope, and it just gets rid of another faction. So I've got three generals following me at the moment, so that is just a caravan. I wouldn't worry about that right now. Right, so these things have these custodies running around. Laying waste to Bologna, or well, whatever. And if we have a look here, he... If we get to the city, he should be, should be there. I can't see him there. It's probably down the bottom of things that, oh my god, there's a thousand men in the city. That's going to take a while to get through. Who's, what's doing it over here? I don't know. 
Look at that, there's 19 men in that, 57 captives. But we're already at full strength, so... Whatever. Besiege it. Good ladders. Alright, let's do it. Definitely don't expect to uh, to win this on the first try, but um, I know we should be alright. Have to accept it or else I lose honour. give Pula to anyone. Let's just deal with an assault on this first and then we'll make our way to Pula. What's taking so long? You know what, we're gonna abandon the siege. I need to I need to give Pula to someone. It hasn't been given yet. I can't, I need to, oh shit, I'm gonna, just gonna stop this, because Puller was so hard to take. We need to stop this from happening. Right, just when I was getting the upper hand on the Holy Roman Empire, the bloody, oh, the bloody Pope steps in. Fuck the Pope. Who's this? Kill him. Look at these guys all over the place. Ah, uh, he's, ah, oh, whatever. We outnumber him by such a massive amount, so we'll order troops to attack without him, without me. See, they, they lose twice as much as me. you guys. It's the dog's just... I don't know what's going on with her today. It's just going nuts. Oh, okay. Captured him. Good. I'll take him to prison. Okay, we didn't manage to get any more soldiers, but, you know, looks like one band of mercenaries. Let's easily afford it with all these bloody extra guys. And if they take Pula, we need to retake it straight away. I gotta get these guys to. Hang on, hang on. if we can get him, that'd be great. Because he's annoying me. Manage the garrison, trade prisoners. Where is he? Put him in there. All Holy Roman Empire guys. Looks like uh, six of them. Didn't I have seven? Oh, wait, I sold off two of them, didn't I? Whatever. The more of them that I can put in there, the better. Like, I don't actually want to ransom them off. Let them keep raiding the settlements. They're all, they're all poor now, anyway. Okay, most of my money now is through doing this. So that's, that's, that's quite a bit of money. I forgot to pick up some soldiers. Uh, local mercenaries, I can afford it. There are some cities that haven't drained the, uh, the lance forces at all, but we don't have time to go to them. Still under siege, yeah. Just try and chase this guy there. Okay, good. This should be an easy fight. Yep, yeah, easy. Just do this. Look, they're not even, we're not even losing any soldiers, really. Ah, I don't have time to go back and put him in a prison. I'll put him in, um... Strauberg or whatever it's fucking called. Just temporarily. So we can go relieve uh, Pula or whatever the fuck it's called. We'll pick him back up on the way back to Verona. 
I like to keep him in Verona because Verona's been upgraded. The, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the prison's been upgraded. Hopefully it's not too big of a force over here. It's such a pain in the ass to take this. What's this? What? When did I go to war with these guys? Fine. And I'm at war with Hungary as well? What the f- Hang on one second. When the hell did the whole world go to war with me? Holy shit. I am at war with just about everyone. When the hell did this happen? Is this a glitch? This is like total war. What the fuck? Jeez. There's only a few people I'm not at war with. This is actually really bad then. We're gonna need to basically accept every single peace treaty that comes around. Okay, that siege ended, but let's just... Damn it. We just took Baseless under siege again. I'm gonna need to give these settlements to myself. It's gonna affect my income. I need to get to Basel and stop it from being lost. I'll give them to new lords afterwards. Esther's been raided. This is really, really bad. I'll need to go over there and help them there. I forgot to pick up that guy. I'm not charging, just do that. This is actually really bad. I can't believe how many wars we're in. I never got those messages. Maybe it's because we've expanded too quickly. This whole war, starting with Venice, has just gone... In fact, it's, it's gone pretty well, because I've actually expanded and gained, I think, one extra general, but the mere fact that there's so many people have declared war on me, it's ridiculous. I didn't pick up that guy. I'll just leave him in Strasbourg. If he escapes, he escapes. I how many people we're at war with. Tell me we're not at war with France, though. Let me just check. France is probably the biggest one. Yeah, we're at war with France as well. Okay, that sucks. That's probably gonna, they could probably destroy us if we're not careful. They're huge. We need to get some peace treaties going. I'm just gonna start with France. Actually, no, you know what? I'll start with the uh, the Teutonic Order, because they're actually hanging around. So let's see here. Descendant Emissary. Where is it? Probably looking right at it. Oh, there it is. Okay, to the Teutonics. Okay, and I want... Yep, and we sent Alexis, because he's the only one that's got any, side, any kind of um, persuasion, even though I haven't really focused anyone on persuasion. I probably should have. Hopefully he comes back with um, with something. Right, we need to go to Basel. It's probably going to be lost. Yeah, okay, so that guy just got sold back to them. They didn't ask for very much. Okay, we need to get some hookers, obviously. That's right, I was supposed to give myself those, those fiefs. 
keep forgetting. I just can't believe how many wars we've been into. What am I doing here again? Oh. Damn it, wrong thing. I mean, it's going to make it very grindy. Alright, I need to give myself these fiefs. Basil should be able to hold out for another day or so. Good if there was another lord here, but they just they just weren't coming. I mean, if you have a look at my, uh, what's it called? Okay, hang on. Uh, I need to give myself Lord of Basil, yep, and Lord of what? Lord of Pula, yep. Is there any more? Lord of Regensburg. That's a minor city, not important. Okay, that's gonna be really bad for tax inefficiency, but I'm not giving any of my guys any new thieves because it would make them all jealous of each other and everything, it's just it's not worth it. It's not worth the ill carnage, that could be bad. They've always got guys around here. Oh, shit, what was that? Oop, they, they're attacking. I need to know what they've got and whether or not it's actually worth defending. That didn't take very long. So how many men do they have there? Looks like there's quite a few armies. The sooner we take it back, the better. What are they fighting there? Oh, come on, we just got them hookers. This is ridiculous. Oh shit, this is a lot of guys. And I thought the situation was at a thousand men. I thought the situation was getting better, but with all these wars, this is really bad. It just, I don't know where these guys bloody came from. It's ridiculous. Rome's gonna be hard to take. Can't fight a thousand men. My oh, world's gone bonkers. Okay, so if I have a look at myself though, so where's my reports, my character report? My right to rule is 99, so these guys shouldn't be just smashing me because of this. It might be because of my honor is not that high. Oh shit. We can't fight them. I mean, I would like to take Basil back, but we just can't fight them. So we'll accept it. I think we should focus on Italy. So we've lost all our holdings out here, but oh well. We gained new ones in Italy. This is ridiculous. The amount of men that we're up against. Removed from the treasury, holy shit. So we're at a huge loss here, because look at all these things that are under sequestration. But in addition to that, I'm hardly making any money because everything's poor. There's no need for me to fight this manually. I hope you capture him. Damn it. Doesn't matter. This will, doesn't make up for the loss that was in the treasury, but we'll just have to make do. I was really, the, the Holy Roman Empire got the upper hand on us in that war because obviously they chose the right time to attack just as soon as I went into a war. In hindsight, I probably should have accepted the peace treaty that they asked me beforehand. I just couldn't defend that.
There's too many of them. No, not the garrus. I need uh, new recruits. And I should go to the tavern, get the prostitute, or else these these guys are just going to desert me again. Now those of those generals of mine that were being held by the Holy Roman Empire should have been released because all of all of the guys that I had there were released. And Kona of Sicily. Okay, we need to go over there and stop this. This is the problem. I just can't fight everyone at once. Of, I don't even know who that is. This is very, very bad. How many men are we up against here? 500. And we've got 500. They've got, I don't know, heaps. That's probably just as bad as well. This, this, uh, this whole situation has put us in a massive defensive. That's a problem. I've, I've never seen, like, just so many people just go straight to war with me before, like this. And all because I declared war on Venice, and I had provocation to do it. It's almost ridiculous. Don't know how we're going to win all these wars. I just need them all to end. All the, if all of them but one of them can end, and then I just focus on something like the whole uh, the the Pope. That would be great. Oh no 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 no. Because we've got like 200,000 in this treasury anyway, so we could keep fighting. It's not going to be a problem. The big problem is when they take these settlements. Pool is a huge concern, because that was so hard to take. And Kona's not that big of a, a concern. It's like a crusade's been called on me or something. So they're at war with me. They're not. They're not. They're not. Uh, Castile. Yep. They're at war with us. Portugal's at war with us. What about England? Yep. England's at war with us. But they're ages away, so that shouldn't be too problem. Scotland's at war with us. Norway's at war with us. Denmark's at war with us. Holy Roman Empire's not at war with us, but we've, we've only got about 20 days before they do anything. These guys are at war with us. They're not. So, the Kingdom of Jerusalem, they stopped. Where are they? They don't have much left. Who the hell is this? I think that's this guy, the guy from Tunis. Byzantine Empire, no. They, that guy is the Latin Empire or whatever. Um, not a huge concern. They're they're huge. They're all fighting each other or whatever. Poland's at war with us. This is ridiculous. It'd be great if I could pick off some of these guys bit by bit, but I just don't think I can. I have to wait for them to assault. I've also been trying to read that book. Let me see. Has it been read? 8% of the way read. That would really help. I really don't want to lose Ancona, because I gave that to one of my... What's this? Yeah, gave that to one of my generals. I think they're running away. Okay, cool. That's fine. Now we need to get to... What's this? Beneficio. 
that's over here. Oh, from Portugal. This is this is unbelievable. Looks like our empire is going to be cut down a bit. I just can't be everywhere at once. This is, um, it's hard fighting over Pula. It's gone. I don't even know who that's, that's the Norse or whatever. Verona. I'm confident that I'll come out on top of all these. Uh, like, I'll, I'm going to survive. But it's just going to be very hard fighting. Obviously, I can't defend myself at every single point. We've got enough men to just auto-resolve this, I think. Oh, then again, we haven't had a good fight. Let's do it. It's going to make this very grindy being at war with everyone. Barking at today. Just, just wants to have a nice big bark. Oh well. This war is good practice, I suppose. There's no dishonor in losing these wars either. It's just it's completely outpowered. And if you think about it, we did start from nothing, and if they bring us back to nothing, well, we'll rise again somewhere else. Process, though. That's a charge now. Oh, the guys are in loose formation. They're easy pickings. Not even in formation, really, it's just the scattered. Generals as I can. And give me more leverage to um to get a peace treaty if these guys are captured. The way it usually goes is they'll besiege a settlement. They might end up taking it. Man, I really need to get to Pula and retake it like straight away. I mean, Pula's not actually worth anything though. I only want to get rid of it because of Venice. All that fighting that I did for it, and just to be lost, just because these guys picked me in a in a weakened opportunity. They just ganged up on me, and it doesn't make any sense either. There was no provocation. Someone must have called them into the war. Probably the Pope. So they're all Catholic wars. That's the, that's the thing I've noticed. Then I wonder why did the Pope go at war with them? Oh, with me. This battle's going very well. It does make me wish that in hindsight I had accepted a peace treaty earlier with the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe then the um, what's it called? the Pope wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have joined in. 
sure I would have got a loss on the whole thing, but whatever. I've got the upper hand on, what's it called, on um, the bloody uh, Venetians. I want to take out Sicily, I think, because I want control of all of Italy. I just order the troops to do it. Now we got to see how bad things are here at Verona. We, we can't lose Verona. I've invested too much into the area. So this is Hungary. What have they got here? Is this it? Is this all you're going to bring, you dumbass fuckers? Corona Aragone. The Kingdom of Aragon or something. Well, they're weak as shit, that's why. I got 234, what have they got? 200, 300 or so men. They don't bloody win that. Alright, fuck it, I'm going in there. Oh, hang on, I'll see if I can get some more troops first. <coughs> Dog, seriously. All day long. Oh shit, I didn't want to talk to him, I wanted to get inside my city. That doesn't matter. I'm in good shape, I think. So we're outnumbered by about a hundred men, but we have the option to leave. How badly are we outnumbered? Not, but not too badly. And it's a field that I'm comfortable with. If I can lift this siege, maybe I, I can get to uh, Corsica and lift that one from the Portuguese. The dogs are going nuts today. There's nothing we can do to stop them either. Just... I don't know, they're just annoying. Come on, bitches, chase after me. So they don't have particularly heavy cavalry, which doesn't concern me too much. Concern me though. It'd be nice to get a couple of headshots on these horses, save me a bit of ammunition. Appears to be the majority of their cavalry taken. Can oh shit! I was lucky. He could have really done some damage to me. Okay, looks like the majority of them are just archers. I can send my guys to charge. Now that we've uh, taken out most of their cavalry. Shouldn't be too difficult to get them. Gotta be very careful of spears. King of something or whatever he is. Killed him.
Yeah, that meat cleaver is really just not good at getting rid of cavalry. Yeah, the bow is. Oh, fuck, I walked right into that one. That's really bad, because we've still got more flying to do after this. The battle should be... Yeah, the battle will be won. I should probably just shoot these guys. I lost all my health in that charge. Fucking knew it was about to happen right before it did. It's like, walked straight into it. I really hate getting these crossbow units. We've lost 37, they've lost 80 men. Plus we've still got cavalry out in the field. So that should probably inspire them. I have no idea what it does, but whatever. Take too long to reload. I always prefer the bow. What are they doing? I need a horse. I can go and get rid of all those guys. At least I managed to kill one of them. So I got a javelin, man. Give me the horse, give me the horse. Running slowly, but just make do. Knocking these guys out unconscious so I can make a bit of ransom off them. I should probably use up these javelins. Probably won't be able to continue fighting after this particular fight. Just want to get into the city, get some reinforcements, and then chase after them again. Okay, so actually went quite well, apart from myself getting knocked out pretty early on. So if I fight the next one, we'll be at half strength. Let's just see. It's not too bad. Oh, I think we can afford to keep going. We're not outnumbered by anywhere near as much as we were last time. And so what if I'm down to half health? It's not that bad. I don't think the horses... Yeah, the horses are lame. It's just going up a hill. I'm trying to fuck up like, like I did last time. Plus, they shouldn't really have much more cavalry. So they go a little bit, not much. Killing a few of them just by being a horse archer. Where do you think you're going, Fitch? Get 
those headshots. If they broke their neck on the fall. Damn, something bloody dismount that guy. I love killing than stragglers. Right and missed it. At least he missed me as well. We're kicking their ass. These guys down here are doing all the killing, we need to stop them. Oh, come on, dog, seriously, that's loud. Also, I don't want any comments like fucking. Anyone give me suggestions on how to control my dog, okay? So, shut your mouth if you can say anything like that. It's annoying, but that's what dogs do. right into me. But still, we've lost 40, they've lost 88. Why do I always start off with the guy that's right at the back? It's going to take me forever to get to the fight. In fact, what I'll do is I'll withdraw. Because we got the better of them in that one. Oh, we're still outnumbered. We need to join in again. I was hoping to just auto-resolve the rest of the way, but we can't do that yet. Now, of course, I'm very low on health, but whatever. I just didn't want to run to the rest of the battlefield. It's too far away. It's okay, even even numbers this time. But a couple of hits and I'll be out straight away. I think my horse hasn't even been lamed yet. It's a good horse, this one. Okay, I see they've got a lack of cavalry. Oh, motherfucker, he got me straight away. So far, so good. Well, I mean, actually, it's gone pretty bad so far. Like, I mean, I got knocked out. I mean, I was pretty low on health anyway. I did manage to kill a couple of them, I think. Got him. 
flanked. Oh yeah, it's a little annoying. That's what I like to see. Battle's one-sided, that's what we like to see. I've killed a lot with just this one guy here. He's not even a particularly good unit. Ranging me. So how are we going? Yeah, we're winning. Not by much, but we're winning. want to be an archer right now. I want to get into the thick of it in melee. Maybe I do want to be an archer. Maybe I don't. guy's nowhere near as good of an archer as me. Well, that didn't work out so well. You should dismount him. Got a headshot and delivered zero damage, but at least he's been dismounted. It'd be easy to kill like that. Well, easier to kill. <laughs> Fucking hell. This guy's like me. Can't deliver any damn damage to him. It's the last one on the field, but nobody could bloody hurt him. Got him. Well, we scraped through that one. Prisoner, good. And some more. So we lost uh, quite a few guys on that, but at least we we liberated the siege. We, we stopped the siege. All right, so we need to manage the garrison. All, all of the Holy Roman Empire dudes, they're all gone, because obviously with the peace treaty, everything gets sent off. No, I didn't want to meet with him. food. No recruit volunteers, I guess it's not available. Okay, well at least uh, we shouldn't be seeing Aragon for a while. Now we need to go and deal with 
with that. I'm about to sell off all these um, prisoners first. In fact, I might even end the video here because this is going to be a bit of a grind. I'm not going to be taking any settlements, it'll just be me fucking fighting these guys off. It's going to take me bloody hours, probably. It's going to be battle after battle after battle, me trying to hold on to these territories and then, I don't know, me collecting all these prisoners and then them asking for peace treaties, which is going to suck, but oh well, we can't really do anything about it. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys, so like and subscribe, part 20's next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.